Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. So Virgo, these messages are general. They will not resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So Virgo, I'm not going to delay. Let's jump right into it. If you would like a personal reading or distance Ricky healing, I don't know if I said this. <laughs> It's in the description box below. Spirit, give me some energy for Virgo, please. Overall energy for Virgo. What's going on here? All right. Ooh, your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn. All right, Virgo. So whatever it is, um, whatever has been delayed, Virgo, whatever you feel like hasn't been going in your favor, you're about to receive, you're about to see the results of your hard work, of your action. And then I have nothing will come of this situation void, of course, moon, okay? So I'm getting like a delay. It's not a denial. For some of you, you may be in the energy of giving up when it comes to um, your work, a creative project, a situation. For some of you, um, this could even be concerning a relationship. But it's like whatever it is um, that you have been working hard at, believe that is working out in your favor believe that you are going to see the results of your work of your efforts so let's go ahead and get some more energy spirit tell me more yeah i'm also getting like a reconciliation so for some of you you could um be reconciling with someone tell me more for virgo please more messages for the other Virgo. What do we have? Oh, distant horizons. I'm just getting something's coming back around with this distant horizon. It's like something is going to be anchored. Something's going to be solid for you. Yeah, something's going to be built on a um, good foundation where things may have been rocky in the beginning. That is going to change. And look what came out. Change. Yeah. For some of you, you're leveling up. You're moving for some of you to a higher level of commitment for others of you you're actually moving and then i have concern okay so for some of you there could be somebody receiving a message that they don't want to hear yeah i feel like for someone like with this message of concern being in the reverse And then we have concern. For someone, I'm getting like, it's not going to be heartbreaking or difficult for you to receive this information. I feel like I heard like all knowing you may already know what's coming or this person may already know what's coming, but there's someone else with this concern that may be unaware of the changes that are about to take place. But for somebody else, whatever message they receive, like they're anticipating it, it's like what binds one person is going to set someone else free, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and pull some more energy. Spirit, tell me more about distant horizons. Oh, look at this, skeletons, you see, secrets are about to be revealed, okay. So for some of you with this distance horizons, it's taking a long time for these secrets, for this exposure to take place. But now it is here. Yes, the skeleton is saying, hello, you thought I forgot? No, we ain't forget it. We here. <laughs> Let the truth be revealed. Tell me about change. I have blackmail. Someone could be getting blackmailed. So I feel like somebody could be trying to like stop someone from moving on, trying to use their secrets against them. Yes, skeletons trying to expose somebody so that a situation won't change. Tell me more about concern. Tell me more about concern for Virgo, please. 
astro travel. You may be having out of body experiences. So I feel like this person is receiving a lot of messages, especially in their dream state. Somebody is becoming enlightened spirit. God is really working through someone. But I feel like with this concern, somebody could be still questioning, like, you know, what they should do or, you know, how they should move when it comes to a certain situation but it's like with this astro travel it's like god is already revealing to this person what they need to do they just need to take the action they need to trust god trust the divine so let's go ahead and get into the tarot spirit tell me more about skeletons please yeah, because nothing ain't going to come of this situation. It's always dead on arrival. You ain't, mm, mm Look at this, the tower. Somebody could be dealing with a Scorpio. But yeah, there's definitely some shocking news, some shocking information that is about to come out. Somebody is also, um, I'm hearing obstacles and delays. Whatever information comes out, it's definitely going to create a lot of challenges for somebody. Um, definitely bring a huge tower, unexpected ending. Whatever somebody thought, you know, was going to happen or whatever somebody's expectations was, mm-mm. That's not what's going to happen. Two of Wands in reverse. This person ain't going to even be able to move forward or move on from this. Tell me more about skeletons. Tell me more about skeletons for Virgo. Ooh, the Empress in the reverse. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Um, this could be somebody's baby mama, mother of their child or children, or just a low vibrational feminine energy. And somebody um is about to be exposed for who they truly are. It's, take, it's been a long time coming. Tell me more about the tower. Tell me more about the tower for Virgo, please. <clears throat> the high priestess, somebody could be dealing with um, a Pisces, heavy on the major arcana. So whatever this skeletons are, this tower is, it's going to be major. Somebody wasn't listening to their intuition. Somebody wasn't trusting their higher self. Somebody was very closed off. And because somebody didn't pay attention, the tower must fall. Tell me about the Empress in the reverse. Yeah, somebody just felt like someone gonna come out with this distant horizon. Somebody felt like they had it in the bag. Queen of Cups in the reverse could be done with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, heavy on the Scorpio. Somebody who's very emotionally manipulative. See, this person thought they was gonna get away with something. They thought they had something in the bag, but they don't. They don't have it in the bag. Two of Pentacles in reverse. The Eight of Cups. The Ace of Swords in reverse. See, somebody told a lie. And they didn't think this lie was going to come out. But it is in the most shocking way. And somebody's going to let it go. Somebody's walking away. Somebody's no longer going to try to make things work with this person or with this situation. Somebody is a done-done chariot somebody could be dealing with a cancer but somebody's moving on somebody's getting up out of here yes yeah, somebody's saying uh, it's a wrap tell me what is this secret the eight of swords in the reverse what is this eight of swords what is this secret the king of pentacles ah okay so somebody um is becoming aware that somebody's trying to use them for their money um, somebody is becoming aware that ever since they started dealing with somebody, um, they have been going through financial instability. Somebody can finally see the truth now. Somebody's no longer stuck. Yeah. I feel like with this distance horizons, it's taking this person a long time to see this energy for who they are, but now they can. Yeah. Cause somebody's financial security has been affected. They have no other choice but to see the truth with justice in the reverse and the moon in the reverse heavy on the Libra. We have Cancer, Pisces here, heavy on the Pisces. But um, somebody could be asking for a divorce. Somebody could be revealing they no longer they no longer want to be in this relationship. This higher level of commitment. Give me some energy for black male. Tell me about black male for Virgo, please. Black male for Virgo. Tell me about black male for Virgo. What is this? Ooh, the five of swords and a nine of wands. Somebody like, I release all your information. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what I heard. I'm going to tell it all. Not a little bit, not just a little bit here or there. I'm telling everything. Yeah, somebody's threatening this person or threatening you to tell all your business, every single thing. Somebody trusted the wrong person. Yeah, with the King of Swords and the reverse, I'm getting somebody didn't use discernment. Tell me more about the Five of Swords. Tell me about the Five of Swords for Virgo. Where do we have? Oh, the Four of Swords. Yeah. So somebody has a choice with this Four of Swords. Like somebody literally um, is being given time to think things over about how they want to move, how they want to handle this situation. Yeah. Somebody feels like they have this person stuck. They can't go anywhere. But somebody's lying though. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's lying. Somebody don't have what they say they have. Tell me more about the Five of Swords. I'm hearing the proof is in the pudding. Five of Cups in the reverse. So I heard nail in the coffin. So somebody feel like they have it in the bag. Somebody feel like they can get away with something. That's what I'm getting with this Five of Swords. Somebody feel like they gonna win when it comes to this situation. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Yeah, somebody blackmailing someone. Somebody saying, I want the money. Eight of Wands in the reverse. I'm hearing like miscommunication. So there could be some miscommunication going on right now currently for you, Virgo. There could also be some block communication. I'm getting like, um, you may be trying to reach out to someone or somebody may be trying to reach out to you, but like it's being intercepted. Like somebody's not receiving your messages or you're not receiving this person's message. For some of you, you don't try multiple times to contact someone, but whoever you're trying to contact it's not getting through. It's being blocked and it's being blocked intentionally. So if you're sending messages to someone and you're wondering like why they're not responding, you don't send about 9, 10, 15 messages and you still haven't heard anything back, it's because it's not even getting through to the person. That's what that is. Yeah. Somebody, Queen of Swords, is literally trying to block communication. Yeah, Page of Swords. They're doing it intentionally. Somebody could also um, I mean, be catfishing. So somebody could be pretending to be you or pretending to be this person. And it's like um, they may be creating like a fake page. And so you may be feeling like you're communicating with, you know, this other energy, but you're not. And it's like whatever this person is saying is very negative. Because they want to paint you in a bad light or they want to paint this person in a bad light. Somebody's well invested in this. Yes, somebody's working hard. Tell me why I heard she work hard for the money. At the end of the day, Virgo, this is all about money. Somebody just wants your money. I mean, they don't want, you know, the bank to close. Tell me more about the nine of wands. Very simple, very simple reading. <laughs> Tell me about the nine of wands. Not a very simple situation, but tell me about the nine of wands in the reverse. The two of pentacles. Yeah, so you're about to give up reaching out to this person, but I'm telling you, it's not getting through. Or whoever you think you're talking to, you're not talking to. Somebody literally being catfished. Somebody doing it. Somebody lying. Yes. Somebody is lying. Somebody's covering something up. Somebody don't want you to see the truth. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands for Virgo. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands for Virgo. Ooh, okay. The Four of Wands and the Three of Wands. Listen. All of this is going on because somebody wants you to be stuck in a relationship or in a commitment. Yeah, somebody don't want you to leave. Somebody don't want you to go. Somebody don't want a change to happen. Somebody don't want you to move out. Somebody wants you to stay there. Somebody's trying to hold on to you. That's why this person doing the most. Absolute most. Somebody could actually be doing like heavy manipulation. 
Knight of Cups, the Magician in Reverse spell work. Somebody could actually, um, I'm hearing food, could be trying to put stuff in your food. Somebody could be doing a lot of online research when it comes to spell work. Yeah, I'm hearing voodoo. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles. I heard a new line of study. Yeah, somebody's studying something new. Somebody is like going to the extreme here. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles in the reverse for Virgo. The magician in the reverse. Yeah, let me tell you. Somebody doing some heavy manipulation so that you can give up, give in, and stay where you at so you don't go nowhere. That's what it's all about. So you don't pack up and leave. Somebody's being told though that nothing is going to come out of this situation because you know whatever's done in the dark always comes to the light. See them skeletons is about to come out, is about to be exposed. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Listen, you already see the truth in this person. Queen of Pentacles, both of y'all in the reverse. So you are married to this person or in a higher level of commitment. You live together or something. But both of y'all in the reverse. So both of y'all going through money troubles. But I feel like for some of you, your money troubles it, um, comes from this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody who really did, don't have good money management skills. Somebody who can be codependent, want to be taken care of, probably overspends. And it's like with the seven of cups in reverse, you finally see the truth in this person. Like it's just, it was just time for this information to come out. Also, um, I'm getting with this wheel of fortune in the reverse, Sagittarius energy could be dealing with the Sagittarius or you could have it highly aspected, but, um, you're also receiving, um, karma, bad karma because of who you are attached to. It's so important. People don't understand that people, you know, and I had to learn this. Don't get me wrong, because I don't make mistakes. <laughs> Trust me, that's how I know what I know, because I don't been there, done that. But, you know, just to enlighten somebody, listen, it's so important on who you connect to, who you marry to, the whoever, who you move in with. Because whoever you are exchanging energy with, it affects, the course of your life if you're with somebody who's low vibrational who ain't you know for what's right who's doing things in the dark the magician in reverse virgo this your energy as well as gemini and you could be righteous you could be living right you could be doing the right things but just because you attach to this other energy who ain't on the right path when they get karma, you got to get it too because you tied to that person. You have to be careful who you tie your energy to. You can't just tie that to everybody. You need to use discernment. You need to make sure that God is really in it. Because getting with the wrong person can literally mess up your life and it can take years to rebuild. Just like it take, unless you're born into money, it takes some time to get to the top to get stable. But it's so easy to lose it. So think about all that time you invested in building. That's a, almost just as much time you need to invest in as when it comes to choosing the right person, doing your research, your homework. Because the wrong person will bring you all the way back down to the bottom. And you got to start all the way back over. Tell me more about Astro Travel. Got to rebuild your life from scratch. And that ain't no fun. Tell me more about astro travel. And you be stuck in a situation. And it be hard to get out of. What I have. The page of wands in the reverse. Somebody, um. I'm getting somebody's blocking communication. Like somebody's receiving downloads from spirit, from God, and somebody's blocking it out or not listening to the communication that they're receiving. Somebody's still in the concern energy, but there's no need to be because light on already been shed. You already know what you need to do. You just need to pay attention to the synchronicities. Pay attention to your dreams. Somebody's not listening to what is being shown to them, to what is being said to them. The divine is communicating with you, but you're not listening. 
somebody's very closed off king of swords somebody's also very stuck in their ways but god's trying to give you a way out ace of pentacles god's trying to give you a new beginning but you got to listen you got to follow directions tell me about astro travel give me another message for astro travel for virgo look at this nine of pentacles in the reverse and the three of pentacles Somebody working with the wrong person. You collaborating with the wrong person. You're collaborating with somebody who is codependent. But some of you, God had already been talking to you about this person, but you still move forward anyway. I've done it, so I, I don't been there, and I understand it. But you know, learning the experience. When you know better, you do better. But somebody's collaborating with the wrong person. Collaborating with somebody who can't produce anything fruitful tell me more about this page of wands in the reverse somebody was receiving direction and blocked it off queen of swords i'm just looking at her hand being out and i'm getting listen god wants you to listen i'm telling you I don't told you about this person, but you didn't listen. I, God's trying to get somebody to listen. God's trying to get somebody to pay attention to the light or God did. Judgment. Yeah. Somebody was to pay attention. Somebody's spirit team ancestors was like, don't go. No, no, no. I can literally hear like, um, what is it called? The fire alarm like going on and off. Somebody was receiving a lot of red flags warning signs yeah tell me more about the nine of pentacles in the reverse tell me about the nine of pentacles in the reverse what do i have seven of swords listen so the truth that has come out or is about to come out about this person being codependent you get with this concern see somebody now look at this light somebody is in disbelief because somebody has found out the truth or they're going to be in disbelief because they now seeing the truth in this person. And somebody concerned now. Somebody like, what have I done? Somebody see it now or they're about to see it. But the signs are already there. The signs is already cautioning you. One thing about God, he gonna always give signs. I don't been there. I don't make bad decisions. You know, when it comes to relationships, I don't been there. And when I look back, God gave me signs. I literally got signs. I literally received omens. But because I was not, um, you know, spiritual as I am today, because, you know, I was not as learned as I am today. I was not as evolved. I didn't pay attention or I just kind of looked past the signs. But there's always signs. When that scripture say, I will never leave nor forsake you, God means that heaven and hell shall pass away before his word goes out void. Somebody now finally sees, they see the scheme, they see what it is. They see this person all about money and now somebody's worried. The lovers, Gemini energy. Somebody could be desiring to partner up with someone else. Somebody now wants a divine connection. The sun in the reverse, queen of wands. If somebody feel like they made a bad choice, somebody chose a queen of wands in reverse, somebody who could be very promiscuous, very lazy, somebody's unhappy with what they chose. Somebody no longer sees this person the same. Somebody no longer desires this person. Tell me more about the lovers. Tell me more about the lovers. For Virgo. Give yeah, the nine of swords. Somebody feel like they missed out on um, an opportunity in love to partner with somebody, you know, to have a balanced connection. Somebody stressing out. Somebody worries about this. Somebody stays up at night concerned. Nine of swords. This person is deeply worried. Deeply. Somebody missed the warning sign. Somebody blocked the communication. Somebody, you know, turned off the messages 
overrode their better judgment. Now somebody's stressed out. And it's like, what have I done? But going back to your hard work is paying off. You know, nothing's ever lost. It's either going to be a lesson or a blessing. Either way, it all works for our good. So you just take this situation, you learn from it, you move on, and you know how to do better. You you know how to not pay attention to the warning signs, the red flags, to be open to communication from God, from the divine, so that you can choose correctly. Working on yourself. Let this situation teach you to work on yourself. Because that's what's going to pay off. That that time. That energy you invest in you. And not investing into something that's really not for you. Because again, nothing ain't going to come from this situation. Yeah, it's not meant to. It was just meant to be a lesson. And for somebody to move on. Somebody turned a lesson into a lifetime situation or tried to. Give me one more message for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. Final messages for Virgo. Give me a final message for Virgo, please. Ooh, look at this. I am safe. Um, for some of you, you could have cancer in your charts and it's a very, in a very significant placement. But it's like, Spirit wants you to know like that regardless of whatever you have been through or you're going through, you're safe, you are protected, you know. But the thing is, you know, don't refuse the protection that God, that your spirit guides, your ancestors are trying to give you. Because, you know, for some of you, the situation could have been avoided. Um... It didn't have to get as bad as it has if you wouldn't have refused protection. That's why, you know, God was really trying to come in and give downloads to you or to this person. But somebody was very closed off. Somebody was blocking communication. Somebody I heard thought they knew it all. But yeah, never refuse guidance. Yeah, somebody was blinded. Somebody couldn't see or didn't want to see. But regardless of whatever choices, you know, we make as, you know, human beings, at the end of the day, we're safe. We just have to learn how to rest safely in God's arms and trust his guidance. So you are protected, Virgo. You are safe. Um, definitely was a learning experience under in, um... <sighs> Whatever you invest into, if it's truly meant for you, you're going to see it. Like, again, like in the beginning, the proof will be in the pudding. You will be able to see it because you'll see how life will flow so effortlessly. And like I say often, anything that God gives you, it always comes with peace. Because God is not the author of confusion. So these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.